we have instruction manuals. And then, as we remove this protective foam pad, here's everything that comes with the Rider M. Now this is more than just a action camera gimbal, but this is a mountable gimbal. This is the Rider M itself, and as you can see, it's quite small, and you can mount this to things like helmets, or chesty mounts, or on your bike handlebars. It's really one of my favorite gimbals because it's just so fun to use. Along with the gimbal, we have a charger, and the cable that goes with that. We have other camera control cables for different action cameras. The Rider M comes with a selfie stick that you can obviously mount right on the bottom here. And one of the greatest things is this mount here allows you to mount the Rider M to any GoPro mount. So the opportunities are really quite endless. Here's extra batteries that it comes with. So you have two sets of batteries and it comes with an awesome little carrying case. So you can fit everything that you need right in here, along with action cameras, extra batteries, charging cables, all within this little case. And that's everything that comes with the Rider M. Here we have the Rider M. This is a small mountable GoPro for action cameras. I have the GoPro Hero 4 Black with me today. And we're going to try it out and see how it works with the Rider M. Now the one thing that I love about the Rider M is not only is it mountable with quarter inch tripod mounts, but you can also attach this mount here and then from there you can attach it to any GoPro mount available. Setting the GoPro up for this gimbal is really quite simple. All you need to do is slide it into the side here. Now before that, you'll need to make sure you loosen these top screws right here. Loosen them up a bit so that you have enough room to slide the GoPro in. Once you can slide the GoPro in, fit it in until it's snug to this motor and then tighten these back screws. And once you have tightened these screws nice and tight, we are now ready to turn on the gimbal. Turning on is quite simple. This top button here, press that and hold until you see a blue light flash. This blue light is now flashing here, so it's ready to power on. The gimbal itself is powered, but we now need to hold this side mode button and the motors themselves will power on. There's a few different modes with the Rider M. The default mode is the pan following mode. That means we can pan left and right with the gimbal. But if we pitch down or pitch up, the GoPro will stay level. If you press this button once, the GoPro will then lock. This is locking mode. When you pitch down, the gimbal will keep the GoPro level. If you pan left and right, it will stay locked in that same position. There's a third mode. This is the pan pitch following mode. Double press the mode button and now we have more of a freestyle mode. You can pan left and right, pitch up and down, and the GoPro will follow. To enter the previous mode, you single press the mode button. Now we're back in the locking mode. Single press again and we're in the pan following mode. Now while in the pan following mode, if you ever need to change the pitch of the GoPro, say you have the gimbal attached to your helmet and you need to make sure it's pitched down, simply move the GoPro itself, hold it for two seconds, and the gimbal will remember that position and lock for that. You can still pan left and right, but the pitch and angle of the GoPro will stay in that position. If I have it on my chest, I might want to pitch it up hold for two seconds, and now the gimbal will remember that position. You can always go into the pan pitch following mode and it will follow the pitch, but if you need to lock the pitch in a certain position, just hold it for two seconds. 
You can also control the gimbal, the pitch, the angle, and recalibrate the gimbal by using the app. This really is one of my favorite gimbals because it's an action camera gimbal and it's mountable. The sports that I love, like snowboarding, skateboarding, longboarding, this gimbal can go with me. And I don't always have to hold it, I can attach it to my chest, a helmet, or a handlebar when I'm biking. And that's everything you really need to know to get started with the Rider M. Thank <laughs> you.